Hey, Max Solo here. Warframe's Railjack update is here, and this is what you can expect when you log in. First, the Corpus Railjack expansion is here. Venus, Neptune, and Pluto Proxima have been added, and contain new mission types that blend normal missions like Defense and Exterminate into Railjack gameplay. Orphix Venom returns as a mission type too. By playing Railjack Orphix, you'll be able to earn Arcanes, so this will be a new way to farm Arcanes if you're not into Eidolon hunting. Volatile is a brand new Railjack mission type that tasks you with taking down a capital ship. A new weapon, the Carmine Penta, and the Athadai will not drop in the Corpus Railjack. Nyx and Valkyr Prime have been permanently unvaulted along with their weapons, so now you can find the relics in Railjack. Corpus Railjack also brings a few new enemies to the Railjack version of Corpus missions. Rachnoids will make an appearance in this update, so get ready to fight off space spiders on deck. In the market, you can now find a pre-built Railjack for sales that you can buy with Platinum. You'll also find Nautilus, the new Sentinel that can repair hull damage and fires every 20 seconds. The main part of the rework centers around the Plexus. Now, your Railjack is bolstered by mods. The old avionics have been transformed into mods that can be slotted into the Plexus. Now when you play Railjack, your Plexus will come with you and bring your mods and setup along with you. This allows you to use your battle mods and tactical mods and aura mods when you're in another player's railjack. You'll find a new quick access console to your Plexus in the front of your orbiter. You'll also notice the new mod upgrade UI, which has been refashioned in a dandy or it can gold. The Plexus can be formed and leveled like any other weapon in the game. The railjack abilities will now also run off of Warframe energy, so things like Xeneric will have a new use in railjack. You can also access the Plexus in full railjack menu by going to a dry dock which can be built in the dojo or found in the new dry docks located in relays across the origin system. In this menu, you can find your railjack armaments and mods, as well as the intrinsic setup, which has now been reset. This is because of the introduction of the command intrinsic. Now, you can reallocate your intrinsics points into new command features if you want. You can recruit your crewmates from Ticker, who are essentially being saved when you recruit them, so you can feel good about that. This will cost credits or resources, and the prices change based on your standing with the syndicates that provide the people. Each crewmate can be customized and equipped with your ranged weapons and attachments. At command rank 8, your converted liches will join you as well, if you choose. Some ranks grant new perks, like the ability to call the Necromex into all Railjack missions. Take a look at each intrinsic and their ranks and see what suits your fancy. Additionally, the new Zephyr changes and Deluxe Bundle have arrived. Check the market for a new Operator cosmetic set, landing craft model, and more as a part of the deluxe skin bundle. Speaking of rework, a small melee change has arrived. Melee no longer staggers on every hit, so there's less CC now as part of DE's effort in balancing gunplay and melee. Also, if you're not into the colors in the UI, you can now change the HUD colors with your palettes in the settings. You'll also see the improved world state tabs on the star chart, which don't seem as buggy as the old ones used to be. What are you most excited for in Corpus Railjack? Are you ready for the call of the Tempestari? Drop a comment down below. If I've helped you today, subscribe to show your support for the channel. I do this all for you to help you get the latest Warframe news without the fluff and filler. If you have feedback, feel free to leave a comment down below. As always, thank you for watching. Take care, and see you next time.